In this video, I'll show you how to utilize every feature of your cordless drill. The most important setting on your cordless drill, I, in my opinion, is this drill setting here. So when you've got your drill set to drill, it will give you the full power of the entire drill at all times. So basically it's not being restricted in any way. So I'll often leave my drill in this setting as I'm working day to day. The second setting we've got up here is hammer mode. So I'm click our drill into hammer mode. When your drill's set to hammer, it'll add a slightly percussive force to the drill bit. So this helps and it's particularly important when drilling to masonry, brick or concrete. You should only ever use hammer mode when you are drilling into masonry or concrete. You should never use it for when you're drilling in wood or plastic. So we've got our high and low gear at the top here. So you've got speed one, speed two. Speed one will turn the drill more slowly, but give you more torque. I find that particularly useful when you're trying to put screws in and you want more torque and you don't want the drill bit to slip in the screw head. So when I'm piloting holes and I just want to drill some holes, I tend to flick it into speed two. This gives me more speed, but there's a slight reduction in torque. As you can see, it turns a bit faster. If you turn the collar here, these numbers start to come up. And this affects how much torque is applied to the drill before the clutch starts to slip. So if you put it on speed two and I hold on to the chuck, you can hear the clutch clicking when it starts to slip. So I don't need to apply much force the grip with on the chuck before the drill starts to slip. So if you've got your drill set in these number modes, it's usually when you're applying a screw into a piece of wood. So if you want your screw to go in a shallow depth, you need to have it on a lower number. If you want your screw to go in deeper, you want your cordless drill set on a higher number. So as you can see, I'm gonna to have to hold this clutch a lot tighter in order for it to slip. And you can see it's a lot louder because I'm having to put more force on the chuck to uh, cause the clutch to slip. When I'm using my drill day to day, I just have it set in drill mode. It gives me full access to all the power of the drill. And then in order to control my speed, I just use the variable speed trigger. Starting off slow, getting a bit faster, and then when you feel more confident, you can up it to full speed. And then depending on whether I'm screwing or drilling, I'll alter these speed settings. So I tend to have it in speed two when I'm drilling a hole, as it gives me more speed. And then when I'm actually inserting the screws into the wood, I'll click it into speed one, just for that little bit of extra torque. So you've got your forward and reverse gears here. So you can alter those forward and reverse gears without changing your grip on the drill, which is quite useful. And you'll often find these here on every cordless drill. If you flip this button into the middle, then it will lock out the trigger so that you can't accidentally operate the tool. And finally, one last thing, just to take the battery in and out of these, is you just put your thumb on there, slide out, reinsert your battery. And that's all the controls available on the Black & Decker drill.